My name is Matthew Helmke. I'm the senior technical writer for a project called iPlant Collaborative. We produce biological software to, um, to use cloud computing to help process things that are previously impossible. I have a new book coming out. It's Ubuntu Unleashed 2011. And this is a book based on the Ubuntu distribution of Linux. And it's primarily focused on people who are either intermediate users or advanced users or who want to be. I have also written a book that came out last summer called The Official Ubuntu Book. That's a collaborative project with several other people from the wider Ubuntu community. And it's focused more on beginners, people who know nothing about Ubuntu, nothing about Linux, nothing about how to use it on their desktop. You can pick up the book, start right there, and walk away using it um, as well as you can use any other operating system with which you're familiar. Ubuntu is an operating system similar to something like Mac OS X or Windows Vista, Windows 7. Um, it starts on your computer you, ha you don't need to have any other software installed. And when you install Ubuntu, it brings you your operating system as well as a set of very useful applications. There is um, a suite of op Office applications that will let you interact with uh, other products like Microsoft Word. You can use Docs. You can use spreadsheets. Um, it will let you access the internet using programs with which you're probably familiar, Firefox for web browsing, Google Chrome, others. The most important things that people should know about my newest book, Ubuntu Unleashed 2011, uh, are that this is a book focused on a part of the market that is not yet reached. We wrote this book intending it to be read by people who don't want to be professional developers, but who want to use their system in advanced ways that perhaps uh, they don't know how to do yet. Another thing that is important about this book is that it is written in a way that anyone should be able to understand. So even if you are a beginner and you haven't used Ubuntu or Linux or anything highly technical, if you are willing to read and you're willing to test things out, you can do this. Some of the most common questions that are asked about Ubuntu are things like, what does it mean when you say Ubuntu is free? The simplest answer to that is that it doesn't cost you anything to download it, install it, and use it. But there's more to the story. It's also free in the sense of liberty. You have the freedom, the liberty to make copies, to give it to people, to share it as you will legally, and you also have the freedom to download the source code if you want to, to study how the programs are written, figure out how they work, add to them if you like, change them however you like, and then distribute those changes as well. This is covered in both Ubuntu Unleashed 2011 and in the official Ubuntu book. Um, we talk about the foundations of where does Ubuntu come from, why does it exist, what is free software, what does it mean to be able to um, change things or modify them or share them. Uh, another question that often comes up and that is also answered in both books in much more detail is, can anyone use this? Am I going to be able to use this software? And with the information in these books, I would say absolutely yes. I have either installed for people or given people these books and said, here, take this DVD or this CD, walk to your computer and see if you can install this and make it work. I want to see if you can go online and check your email. I want to see if you can write a document or share a document with me. I want to see if you can use a spreadsheet. I want to see if you can do the things 
that you normally do, buy music, play music, uh, watch a video on YouTube. These are all things that are covered either in one book or the other and often in both, but to varying levels of depth. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope next time you're at the bookstore, you pick up a copy of Ubuntu Unleashed 2011 or the official Ubuntu book. Take a look inside, see what they contain, and take one home with you.